Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Gates versus Rembolt. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Gates, you claim that the day before your son's tragic death, he told you what you have always believed. He was not the biological father of the defendant's three-year-old daughter, Alexis, and 16-month-old son, Nicholas. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to defend his honor. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rimbold, you state the plaintiff's son, Nicholas Gates, is your children's father and say today's results will prove your case and clear your name. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Gates, why are you so positive your son is not the dad? I am here to represent my son, Nicholas, as because he can't be here. I remember him telling me point blank the day before he passed away that he was not the father of Nicholas. But yet he told me differently right before he died. He had told me that he didn't care regardless, that he felt in his heart that no, he, he was the father of my child. And so you say that is not true, Ms. Gates. You say... Well, I don't know what he told her, but I know what I know and what I've been told, and that's what he told me. Tell and I have court. to believe him. He's my son. You and your son were very close. You're very close. Yes, ma'am. And so you feel like when he told you that information, he really wanted to clear the air and let you know what he really felt deep down. I could tell he was being very honest. I could see the sadness in his face when he told me that. Also, Mr. Gates and I were also fighting at the time we had a rough relationship. So, Mr. Gates was going to say what he had to to his mom. What would he say to you? That he felt that this child was his. And even if the child was not his, Mr. Gates would still stepped up and he would have been a father. Of Mr. course Gates he would was step a good up. Father. He was a great father. He raised her daughter. She was pregnant when they met. So, of course he would step up. And so, you're saying, Ms. Rimble, that he never doubted to you at all? Or was there doubt? Yes, there was some doubt, Mr. Gates, with Alexis. If we would argue, he would say, go find your daughter's father. With Nicholas, I had found out I was pregnant, and he told me he would not be able to live with knowing I was pregnant with another man's baby. And then, right before Mr. Gates had passed away, Mr. Gates had told me that he felt in his heart that Nicholas was his child. It's not what he told me. The complete opposite the day before he passed away. Tell me exactly what he said. What happened He to him? said, that baby is not mine. And that's all he said. And, and he was just very distressed. And he meant Nicholas? Yes. What about Alexis? When Alexis was born, Your Honor, she was very dark-complected. And he had every doubt possible that she was not his due to the circumstances of them breaking up, getting back together, and involving other people in these matters, being with other people. Ms. Rimbolt, were you all committed, exclusive? What, what was we... the nature of this relationship? When I first met Mr. Gates, he was in a relationship. I was engaged to get married to somebody else. The day we met, we just started off as friends, and that same night, Mr. Gates came back to my house. And he moved in immediately. But I didn't expect me and Nick to move as fast as we did, and it did. And Ms. Gates, what was your first memory of Ms. Rimbold? The first thing I thought of, what is my son doing with her? She's just crazy. She's outgoing and everything. It I'm didn't... just outspoken. I'm very blunt, and I get to the point. It, she is. And she had a good job, and he really respected her. He fell in love with her, and he was very much in love with her and the kids. He was? Yes. I kind of felt like a mom figure to him. I was older than Nicholas, but... She's an older woman. Cougar. So, how soon <laughs> after you and Mr. Gates started your relationship were you pregnant with Alexis? Um, it was Alexis that there was doubts. Mine and Mr. Gates' relationship was... Very rocky. Mr. Gates would love the attention from other women, and he thought he was slick and would always get caught cheating. Cheating? You guys always cheated on each other. And so, Your Honor... Oh, really? Yes. I... So the cheating went both ways. Yes, as soon did. as they would break up, bam, 
Yes, I would. He would be a chick magnet. She'd go find what other guy, you know, just to get back at each other. So, before Alexis was born, did you all have this phase of breaking up and cheating? Yeah. I know with Alexis, he was just not too sure that she was his because she was dark complected, darker eyes. He's blonde hair. That's because my ex blue is eyes. Hispanic. So, of course. Okay. So, had you slept with that ex during this breakup Have thing? You? I sure did. Did you? Yes. You did. Yes, she did. If you did sleep with the ex during the breakup, why is it that you don't agree with the fact that there could be doubt? I mean, I, I don't blame you for having doubt. When Alexis was... We first found out I was pregnant with Alexis. Again, me and Mr. Gates were cheating on each other. And I had told him I was pregnant. And at first, he was like, is it mine? And I told him, I said, yes, it was. When Alexis was born, Nick kind of had a look on him. I was like, at the hospital, I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, him and his grandfather thought Alexis was dark. And I said, so what are you saying? You think that she's my ex? And, but you know, Nick probably could have some doubt. Well, knowing you know, other I was men cheating. were involved though, why wouldn't he have a doubt? So Ms. Rimbold, you say based upon a timeline, you felt that Alexis was his child. Yes, Your Honor. How close to that timeline did you sleep with your ex? It was around the same time. But, it, oh, but Your Honor, really? but Your Honor, it was protected, but the protection did break. Oh. Are you serious? I, can't, so, I didn't even know this. Ms. Rimbold, you do understand that if the condom breaks, you've basically exposed yourself. I, I had also, Your Honor, I had ran into the other gentleman that could have possibly been Alexis's father. I showed the other gentleman the picture. He says, no. Why would he say yes? That's 18 years of child support for him. <laughs> Just saying. That is the moment that alleviated all question in your mind? No, the other guy I've, said no? I've had doubt. You know, when Ms. Mrs. Gates has made comments like, I just don't see Nicholas, I would then look at my daughter. Do you see her? I do. You do? Without I a don't. doubt. She looks just like her father. She's got his... No, she same doesn't. Blindness. But on one, in one breath, you say you've had doubts before. I even have. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So that then substantiates Mr. Gates' doubt and the doubt he probably did, in fact, express to his mother before his passing. Right. But can you say for certain that you truly believe, if you've had doubt? In my heart, I'm 100% sure. Is there some doubt? Yes. And that's why I'm here today. I okay. want this to be her grandchild, and I want us to be able to get closer. I've lost everything. He used to take care of the kids, and I worked. I've had to move since the pasting. I lost everything. So today's results truly mean everything to you because having that clarity will hopefully encourage Ms. Gates to help with the children. I want her to feel that same bond with Alexis. And I want especially. I want, I want him especially to carry his dad's last name. And you'd like to get proud. his name. I want his name changed to his father's, and I need that. What was the nature of the relationship at the time you got pregnant with Nicholas? We had a lot of trust issues, a lot of problems up and down in our relationship. I did start just hanging out with another gentleman, and he was staying the night pretty much in my home a lot, to the point where I would even have Mr. Gates and the other man that I was having sexual and chorus with, both staying in the same house together. Really? My son loved her so much that he would watch the kids knowing she'd be going out with this man. That's how much he loved her and loved those kids. But, and it killed him. So you moved this guy into the house with you and Mr. Gates? Yes, Your Honor. And for what, re what, what reason did you have? Because I couldn't at that time. I wasn't going to make a decision, and I was hurt by everything Nick had put me through. 
And they stayed? And they both stayed. Okay, and so which <laughs> one were you intimate with during this time? Both of them, Your Honor. <laughs> both men? Both men. Not at the same time, right? Same day, Your Honor. Same day. Yes, Your Honor. Now you have a child. Yes. And you named him after Nicholas, but he may not be his. At the time, Your Honor, when I found out I was pregnant with Nicholas, I had two names picked out. I told myself when I would deliver Nicholas that I would know in my heart when I looked at him who the father would be. And so when Nicholas was born, you looked at the baby and you said, That's this Nic is Nicholas's. That's Nicholas's. Nicholas has blonde hair, bright blue eyes, and he came out looking just like his father. They both had uh, come hazel. On. He come on. Nicholas looked just Jr. like his father. Nicholas Jr. has hazel eyes. Like That's his me. sister Lexi. That's me. I have hazel colored eyes. But his traits are very strong, Your Honor. His dad was blonde hair, blue eyed. Nick was blonde hair, blue eyed. My mother, blonde hair, and blue eyes. But My and so, Miss Gates, you submitted a graphic to the court that helps. There you go, right there. What you're basically trying to get at is that... They're all blonde. They hair, all blue are eyes. blonde hair, blue And you say these children possess very different physical attributes. Well, yes, we have Alexis here. She's dark-complected, she has hazel eyes, dark hair. And I have hazel eyes and dark hair. What if they are not Nicholas's biological children? I would be or devastated. even one? I would be devastated. I'd probably faint on this floor. I probably would. You feel like this is your only chance that your children having a father, even though he's passed on, they would have a father that wanted them and loved them. Yes, Your Honor. I understand. Jerome, I think we're ready for the results. We have two sets of results. The first set is for Alexis. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased Nicholas Gates, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Robin Gates. The results are as follows. In the case of Gates versus Remble, when it comes to three-year-old Alexis Gates, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Robin Gates and Alexis Gates is 98.6%. Wow. Wow, that makes me so happy. <laughs> That's great. It does. Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. I have the second result. And this result is for baby Nicholas. And right before your son passed away, he expressed doubt. Yes, ma'am. Again, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Robin Gates. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Nicholas Rimbold, and Robin Gates. The results are as follows. I have never received a report with a result like this. Is that good or bad, Your Honor? For clarification, I want to find out I'd like to get Dr. Baird on from DNA Diagnostics. I want to talk to him. He is the chief science officer of the laboratory. I've never seen a result read like this. Hello, Dr. Baird, are you there? I am here, Judge. Glad to help. Thank you so much for jumping on the line and taking this call. We're here in the case of Gates versus Rimbold, and I have never received results like this. I'd like to read them to you. In the case of Gates versus Rimbold, when it comes to 16-month-old Nicholas Rimbold, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Robin Gates and Nicholas Rimbold is 
64.6%. What does that mean exactly, sir? Yeah, what does that mean? Well, this is basically an inconclusive result. So as a result, we did some additional testing. We then compared Alexis and Nicholas to see whether they were full or half siblings. And the results of that siblingship test showed with a 99.99995% likelihood that Alexis and Nicholas do indeed share the same biological father. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, woo-wee. I was holding my breath when he was talking <laughs> because you all don't know, I don't know the results either. But I've sat in this courtroom and watched you both talk so beautifully about Nicholas and his beautiful spirit. And I have to say, Ms. Gates, spending this time with you, I know where he gets it from. Thank you. <laughs> you, so and you really do have such a lovely spirit. Thank you. And I agree with Ms. Rimbold. The children need you. I am there. I love those babies. And Ms. Rimbold, I'm hoping this result sets you off on a better path. I hope so too, Yarn. I wish you all the very, very best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Court is adjourned.